Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about the PowerToys host file editor. So if you ever use the host file to, you know, enter in specific values uh, to override DNS settings, um, you're probably familiar when you, when you try and open up the host file with Notepad. And let's say you made a change, just, you know, not going to put anything too specific, and you try and save it. it won't let you save it. You have to save it as a different file name and then go back and overwrite the host file. Or you could run Notepad as administrator and save it that way. Or another cool thing you could use is this uh, host file editor that comes with the PowerToys program. So the PowerToys has all kinds of different apps to customize your Windows experience. So once you install it, you go to the host file editor, make sure it's on, and then there's an option to run it as administrator, which you probably should do to make sure you could uh, save your changes appropriately. So just click on launch host file editor. And it just gives you a little warning that you accept. So here's the uh, stuff we have in there now. Let's open it back up again. So the ones that are commented out with the uh, pound symbol there means they're not active because it has the pound there. Then you could actually make them active by turning them on here. So let's say Let's turn on this uh, Rhino one at the top, and then let's add a new one. Let's say I put a whatever IP address. And let's say host name. And then we add it. And just like that, and there's some settings here, which will take you back to the other settings open the host file itself, it has filters, additional content. So if we click on open the host file itself, now you can see that's what we just added in there. And then it also took the uh, pound sign off the one for Rhino, making it active. And then if you change your mind, just you know come in here and turn them off. You can right click it and ping it, move it up or down and delete it. So let's say we didn't want this after all, we were done with it, click done. And now let's uh, close this so it refreshes here. And now that new one's gone and the uh, Rhino's got pound sign in front of it again. So back to uh, inactive. All right, so I'll put a link in the description to where you could download the Power Toys and then you could check out some of the other tools. We did some videos on some of the other stuff, I think, like the Power Rename and Power Run and Locksmith maybe color picker, so you can check those out too if you want. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.